Alright, so if you can't tell from the way this video is starting, there has been a slight hiccup in my plans for the week. Um, the internet in the entire town is down. And so is the cellular, which means I can't call, and I can't use the internet, and I can't do anything, and that completely ruins all of my plans for the next episode for reasons that I can't say, but you'll probably figure it out if you think hard enough. Um, so I'm going to do a mini episode. Um, this is going to kind of be weird. Um, and this was totally unplanned as well, because I was going to record something else today, um, but I can't, because the world sucks. So we're doing something different, uh, something something that I never really thought about doing. And what we're doing is I'm going to do this wall, or at least something with it. Um, and I figured the best way to convince myself to work on this is to just do it. Um, obviously, as you can see, the wall is just going to follow this cobblestone from that corner to the island. It's going to connect. Uh, this water is going to get maybe cut off with a drain or something. I don't know. Helm's Deep style. I haven't planned any of this through. Like I said, I literally just hopped on and I was like, you know what? We're doing something. Also, look at those fish. They're frozen. Why are you frozen? Why is this so cursed looking? And now they're moving again. <laughs> that was weird. Anyways, we can do things. And also, I made a new sword. Uh, this one's called the God Blade, um, replacing the Arachnid Annihilator. Um, and the reason why it's called the God Blade is because this was what came out of the enchanting table. I asked for Unbreaking 3, and it gave me sharpness, looting, and fire aspect as well. So this is, this is a really good sword. Um, so we're going to use this for a while. Um, yeah, okay, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> oh, whoops. First off, put my armor back on. That's important. So I don't think this wall is going to be super thick. Like, it, it's going to be a, a little thick. But, like, not really thick, you know. Um, like, is that too thin? Probably. Should I... Do that. No, that's odd. It, it can't be like that. That would be so confusing. We're going to do it this way. This is going to be the wall size. Yes. I should have brought dirt with me. Um, I didn't think about that. Because we're going to... And sand. Because we're going to do some terraforming on this. Because uh, this hillside is great, but it's it's not great. i got to be honest. It's not great. I'm going to run inside real quick and grab some sand and dirt. And maybe some smooth stone. I'd that would be a nice thing to have as well for this, actually. Alright, I've got the goods. They're not actually in this chest, I'm just holding it. Uh, it's all right here. Yes. So I think we're going to start by bringing this side down, because I want this wall to be fairly close to the coast. But not, like, super close. But this should be a good start. And then this needs to be filled in at this level. Get rid of that. Maybe I'll get rid of this and... Oh, why is it always raining on this world? <laughs> I swear they, like, change the rates of rain in the latest update, or something. Like, seriously, I've never had it rain this much in my life. Sleep. This probably needs to get filled in, too, now that I think about it. It's, it's really inconveniently in the way. <laughs> Which I don't know why I didn't think about it until now when I'm actually in the process of building things. But you know, that's how the world works sometimes. <laughs> we'll fill it in with cobblestone, I guess, because I have tons of excess cobblestone. And then layer it off on the top with dirt and sand. And sand and dirt. All right, we got all the walls, bases set up here, which is already a really good start. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this stone being here, though. I think I want to turn this entire stretch here into sand. 
I think that would probably look the best. Except maybe I might keep to this little patch of green grass every once in a while. I don't know. Uh, we'll get there when we get there. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to go inside. And I'm going to grab some deep slate and maybe some basalt. Um, <laughs> I didn't plan, as you can tell. If I planned, I wouldn't be running around like a maniac right now. I also get the feeling that this is going to take a lot longer than I was hoping it was going to take. And it's probably not even going to look that good when I'm done anyways. So I think I want to continue this pattern at the base along this way. So I'm going to have to turn all of this into polished andesite. Well, actually, it would stick out. So this would stay. And then I would add polished along the sides. So it would be like this, I think. Whoops. And then you'd have the slabs along the top. And we're going to have to stop it like right around there because I think there's going to be a bit of a different theming there in order for the grate to fit in. So we can bring this down and then I guess we'll do the same on the other side here. Quick sleep. Sleep obtained and we can go back to digging. And I'm thinking... We could just do like a pillar there, and then there'd be another pillar over there. And that would match, and that would transition pretty nice. So I think that's what we're going to actually do for the border. And maybe we can um, add more vertical pillars along this whole wall. So that it doesn't just feel like it's really all of a sudden out of place, you know? Also, I really like this patch of grass here, actually. It's growing on me. Ha! <laughs> Plant jokes. Yeah, I think we're going to, I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to leave the patch grass. This is all good. Um, I want to bring in the cobblestone at the base. So this space is going to be cobblestone. And I'm trying my hardest, if you can't tell, to kind of match what that tower is doing. Because it's all supposed to be one seamless piece. And so I want it to at least thematically feel the same. Even if the blocks aren't the same, you know. Because what matters is that it looks like it belongs. It doesn't matter if it, you know, if it's built differently, because things are built differently all the time. You know, you build things, and then some parts get destroyed, and you rebuild it with other things, and things get built over and replaced over time. Um, so it doesn't really matter if it's stone bricks or not, because you could just say, oh, the wall was destroyed and rebuilt after a war, or something like that. And that's why it's a different material. And it works, you know. That's, that's just the way things are. <laughs> Alright, so we have this section, and I don't know if I really want to do this again. I want to see what we can do for the transition, because there's going to be stone bricks here. And so there needs to be some kind of ledge, like we have there, but maybe different, that gives you the same feeling of connection. I do think that we could just do more slabs going across, and then change up whatever happens down here. Which I think, I think that would work. And I'm not going to do the whole thing yet, because I'm still kind of feeling this out. So we could do andesite, just like we did previously. Why is there a dirt block here? I did not put this here. Did I? Maybe I did. Maybe I'm going insane. So the question that I'm having is, does this do a good enough job with the transition? Or does it look out of place? And one of the best ways to get these kind of opinions solved is to go a little bit of a distance away. Honestly, that's not terrible. Um, honestly, it's not terrible. <laughs> it's not great. What if... What if I put slabs under the walls? Like here. And it could be the lighter slabs or the darker slabs. I'm just thinking. What is this like? I like that. I like that. That actually works. And you may not like it, but that doesn't matter because I'm the one who has to look at it 24-7, so it matters to me. And I like, I like that. I think that works. It makes the wall a bit more robust. Yeah, we'll do that. I think we're going to stick with that, which means I need to turn more of this andesite into the proper materials. And obviously this wall is not going to be taller than the tower, because that would look dumb. 
That's my number one advice. If you're making medieval builds or stone builds or any kind of build that has a wall with turrets, make the turrets taller than the wall, or at least the same height. If the wall is taller than the turrets, then it looks terrible. <laughs> it just looks awful. Don't do it. If you do do it, I will personally find where you live, and I will take a train to your house uh, just so I can smack you in the face and then come home. <laughs> Does this count as an April Fool's video? <laughs> I just thought of that, actually. I didn't have... I was thinking of different April Fool's videos, and I didn't really come up with anything that I liked. But, like, this might release on April Fool's Day, depending on what happens. I mean, if it does, I'm not complaining. That's pretty cool. But I, I just, it, the thought just occurred to me. This might release on April Fool's. <laughs> it's not even a joke. It's just a weird-ass video. <laughs> and you know what? If this does release on April Fool's Day, I hope you guys appreciate it. Because I'm one of those kinds of people that always gets frustrated uh, when my people that I watch on YouTube, you know, like they upload a video and it's like, oh boy, all of my videos for the day are really shit prank videos. And like sometimes it's okay because sometimes the videos are good. And the other times the videos are just god awful. And you end up having absolutely nothing to watch for the entire day. And that kind of be frustrating sometimes. Um, so I hope you guys appreciate this if it does come out on April Fools <laughs> for having the only regular content you'll ever see. So now we need to cap off the wall. Oh, I just had an idea actually. This wall comes really, we could have this staircase up to the top of the wall. That's actually a really good idea. See, I wouldn't have thought of that if I wasn't building live because I wouldn't have built the whole thing together at once. I would have just built a section of wall and been like, yep, that looks good. <laughs> good job me, I came up with a cool idea. Do I use deep slate? Because there's no dark on that. It would look weird. I think we don't use deep slate. Like, almost at all up here. I think... Maybe something like this. And we... Bust these up! And I think the top of the wall will most likely be wood. That feels like the obvious answer. Um, so I don't even have to worry about thinking that. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't do videos like this. It's not my thing. I like this. It looks very foreboding, but it does need vertical supports. So I might do that, like that column. I might do something different, something more like this, but maybe not deep slate, maybe with deep slate. I don't know. But I do like the way this looks. It's very fortified looking. But I'm thinking maybe I will use deep slate along here with walls. So we get a little bit of a highlight at the top to bring your eyes up to the top of the wall. I th and it also reflects what's down here up there a bit. So I think that's actually a good idea. Oh hey, you know, while I'm thinking about it, I did actually come up with a solution to prevent these guys from stealing each other's jobs. As you can see here, they're all jobbed now. And the solution is double carpet. If you put two carpets down, like that, they can't walk, they can't pathfind, so they only see the barrel in front of them. So this guy cannot see this barrel. It's impossible. And so they just choose the one in front of them. And it works. And I need to get more carpets. Um, but that's the solution to the problem we were having. Alright, so in terms of wall progress, you can see here I have mirrored the stone and caps to this side. Um, and, uh, among other things, I have extended this pathway up like I said I was going to. And I have now finished doing that. Oh, me likey that. And you can see here, I have also capped off this section and added a roof. This is coming along very nicely, very quickly. And just need to add some caps on this side. Ugh. Ooh, I like the way that locks in right there like that. It's kind of cool. And I do kind of want to maybe make some kind of extension here in the future to make the back side a bit more fortified. Or maybe some kind of braces would be a cool idea. I don't have the materials with me, but imagine, I'll use basalt, imagine we have like spruce blocks like here and there and there, but like periodically and maybe not quite in this position or this angle necessarily, but like these would be like little support struts. I guess you could say that would be holding this place back. Made out of wood, like dark oak. 
I don't know. It might be at a higher angle. I don't know. That would be pretty cool. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just spitting ideas. And I don't know what we're going to do here. I was thinking a wall across the ocean there. So we have like a little bay. I don't know how I feel about that though. Because like there's a lot of open space here. And a little arch thingy maybe here would be cool. I was also thinking maybe we would terraform this river away so that the land would curve here and then follow this and then this would all be grass right in here which isn't a huge project and it's doable and it would give us a lot more space and you could just tie it up here pretty seamlessly turtle <laughs> and I think that's probably what we're going to do but you know, that's, that's not too bad. It, I do think it needs some kind of vertical support. Like maybe one, two, maybe four of them. There will be one there, where that is. And then there will be two here, and then one in the corner somewhere. And I think that would tie this up very nicely. I think that's what this needs the most right now. And I have actually started to use this storage system. All of the stuff that I dug out from the... Uh, villager trading hall dig, all of that ended up in here. And it's a lot of cobblestone. I think there's like a full double chest from that room. If I'm not mistaken, let me check real quick. It's this one. Yeah. 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 This is all from the villager dig. You can kind of see how crazy that was. It's a humongous project, and thank you guys so much, by the way, uh, for the support you've given giving me lately. Um, it's really great. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So obviously I'm thinking that these pillars are going to be made out of andesite. Um, and I think they're going to be this shaped going up. And I don't know if this is like too much or maybe it's not enough. Uh, so I'm hoping we'll see. Oh, the grass patch is in the way. Well, that's disappointing. We'll have to make a new one. I think this is good, but it does need some color. I Maybe some deep slate bands there and there and something. So this is definitely on the right track. I just need to mix things up a little bit. It sounds like there's a zombie right here. No, I'm really confused. Right here? Where are you? Why? He's in the walls. He sounds like he's right here. I'm gonna go insane. It's not here. There he is. Jeez. <laughs> Fill up these holes. I gotta fill all this land in that I ripped apart. <laughs> Looking better. I wanna change this to like a cobblestone wall. I think that would look great. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. That looks like that's done the trick. And now we need to cap off the top of these with something. I think we will probably use a deep slate slab or a smooth stone slab. I think either of those would look pretty good. But I want to try the deep slate first. And if that doesn't work, then we can go to the smooth stone. I don't want your flesh. Get out of here. All right, slabs are in. Let's go see how it looks. Oh, that looks awful. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it looks... Terrible. Slabs are not big enough. It needs to be a full block. 
something like that, maybe even. You know what? Let's actually try that design. Um, but I don't know if I want to do it out of deep slate. Maybe cobblestone with a question mark. Uh -huh. Hello, Bob. Bob has nothing to sell. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, I got all the caps in place. It's better. I could use some work, maybe a different texture for that. Um, but there is good news. Um, what the hell are you guys doing out here? <laughs> um, the good news is my internet's back. So uh, I guess that means I'm ending the video, because this is a video that I made with no internet. <laughs> um, I thank you guys for watching, and I will touch up this wall a little bit more in the behind the scenes background. Um, but until then, until the next episode, I will see you later. Goodbye.